Herald Headlines with Darren Mann. In the Herald headlines for today, Wednesday, 24th of November, butcher nearly cut off fiancé's head. Kabecha man jailed after admitting to stabbing partner to death over alleged affair. Also, DA mayor for Dr. Bayes Nodea as ANC takes top job in Kokama. And elderly man dies after Bucky swept off bridge. Those are the headlines in the Herald for today, Wednesday, 24th of November. For more on these and other stories, go to heraldlive.co.za. Each one of us has a story to tell and a story to share. A story that deserves to be heard. A story that inspires, motivates, and gives people a reason to keep going. A story about our triumphs as individuals and as a team. A story about our humble beginnings and what the future holds for us. A story about our heritage and that which brings us together. It is these stories that connect us. The Herald. Whatever you live for, we live to tell that story for you. The local government elections have come and gone. Votes have been cast, votes have been counted. And in Nelson Mandela Bay, things have turned a little more confusing than ever. 48 votes each garnered by the two leading parties, the DA and the ANC. No one getting the outright 60 votes required to rule the city as per their own policies and wants, but needing to gather support from smaller parties to help them get to that magical number of 60. Now it appears that this was something that the ANC managed to do and that the DA did not. We speak now to outgoing Mayor Councillor Nkaba Banga about where he felt his party felt short. Councillor, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Where did you fall short? Uh, Darren, I must say um, we, we have done everything uh, under a very messy election, um, which did not even give a, an, a, an upright winner. We are 44, 48, 48 with the ANC. And uh, we engage a number of uh, parties, uh, knowing that uh, there was a decision that uh, no relationship with the ANC or the EFF, which was a clear instruction from the federal leadership. Um, we were able to engage with a number of smaller parties in the city on the basis that we must save the city um, against the ANC parties like uh, AIM, uh, led by Mkuseli Jack, um, uh, UDM, and many um, other uh, smaller parties, including the, the NA. Um, if you remember the first meeting, we could have won uh, that meeting uh, because we agreed that uh, we'll put up a speaker, uh, which was Mr. Mkuseli Jack uh, from, from AIM, uh, with our surprise on Sunday uh, evening. Um, Mr. Jack and the other guys from uh, AIM and other parties formed a block um, uh, together. Uh, they came to, to us uh, uh, clearly that uh, they wanted me to make things difficult by claiming all positions and then changing the decision to make, make Mr. Jack the, 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 the speaker. Um, they decided to donate uh, um, the city to, to the ANC. Uh, to their shock, they couldn't believe that we would be voted by an additional seven people because uh, to many of them, and I think uh, what they wanted was just to be in government. Councillor, why did the smaller parties decide to choose the ANC over you? You obviously negotiated with them. What were the breaking points? Uh, what they wanted us to do was to uh, give uh, all service departments, uh, the, the departments that were going to enable us to change the city and deliver service. Amongst those departments was infrastructure. Um, a councillor, for instance, who have no literally experience on the engineering and infrastructure field, um, knew um, with a crisis of water, and electricity problems were faced with, 
they wanted us to give them an A wanted three position out of 10. Um, um, they wanted to give a uh, dope uh, finance and in, in, in experience uh, um, a person in the finance department. They wanted to take public health, the one we're going to use to clean the city. They wanted to take uh, almost like everything and just give us a mayor and the, and the chief of um, um, a, a staff. Um, and uh, it was clear that it was a government that was going to, to fail um, uh, immediately. Can I ask you for your thoughts on coalitions in general? Do they work or do they render government inert? You personally have had to deal with coalition governments during your term as administration. It, it, it's, a, it's a very difficult uh, thing to do, in particular when position people um, want only position at all cost. They do not think about the people. Uh, because government is about changing people's lives and delivering services. And to my surprise, some of the people I trusted that they would have values and respect the people, even to them at all costs, they wanted to be uh, in government in particular, AIM and uh, uh, the, the UDM. And when we said to them, can't we do this to make sure that we have a stable government that is going to service people of Nelson Mandela, than uh, uh, taking decisions because I want to be a mayor and then it collapses uh, everything and collapses a uh, uh, service delivery. Do you see the ruling coalition, as announced, holding for the next five years? I really don't believe it will um, because it, it, it's based on uh, nothing else uh, but uh, uh, forming uh, coalitions for people to get positions uh, for, for salaries, and um, for soliciting uh, um, uh, um, uh, their interest out of uh, the municipality. And uh, that is not something that uh, we should be doing at all costs. And uh, I realize that this is not about the people and uh, um, for these people to change. I mean, we, we, we were only short with uh, two people to take over the city. Um, and when I convinced them that other parties who won the ANC out might vote for us, I mean, like the EFF voted for us throughout the country. And um, when we told them that that will happen, they didn't believe it, um, that it will, uh, it, will, it will happen. And um, the, the egg is in their face, which Mr. Jack uh, should take blame and, um, and, the, and the UDM and the people uh, who just wanted this position, uh, the disaster we have now, it's unbearable, it's unbelievable, and uh, it's going to affect um, the municipality. The problem with uh, Darren with smaller parties um, is that people want just to get to council to serve their individual interests. That's why we said this will be dangerous. And I take my hat uh, to the ACDP, Mr. Lansford-Bohm and the, the, the Freedom Front for sticking in principle and said, um, when they, I got a report on Sunday, it was them who said, we can't get into this. It's unbelievable. These people are unrealistic. And even the people we trusted have uh, turned the corner. The people who thought we have principle, the people who thought that they spoke in the build up to election, saying the, the, the ANC must be removed. South Africans want an ANC out of government. That's what you're seeing throughout the country. The ANC is below 50%. Councillor, can I ask you, how will the DA approach its new role as opposition in the NMB Council? We are a very robust uh, opposition uh, party. What we'll have to demand is to deliver to the people. Remember, uh, now this council is hung is at 6060 and what they did not envisage what they did not expect uh, they thought that they were going to shift everybody against us and um, they couldn't succeed to that and now they're at 6060 uh, tomorrow if somebody shift things can change 
Um, we don't know what is going to happen throughout the country as we speak right now. And um, my worry is that uh, whatever we do, Darren, um, it should be about servicing and delivering the people. The disaster of having incompetent individuals in critical positions um, was not going to assist our people. It's not going to assist our people. It's going to collapse this government. This nature of coalition, after Trollip was removed, we had something like this. The city uh, collapsed. I tried to convince them um, about uh, this situation, that we must choose good governance uh, than choosing serving our personal uh, interest. It's a difficult call uh, to, to, to do. We fought this battle until the end. We went out and put up a, a names. We put up a speaker, we put up a mayor, uh, hoping that they will realize that they are donating the government to the ANC. The disaster we have, starting from a mayor, uh, going down to members of the mayoral committee, it's a crisis. As a person who has served as a mayor who understand the rot inside. We are speaking with Councillor Nkababanga. He's the outgoing mayor of Nelson Mandela Bay. Councillor, thank you for your time. We are running short on that. I just have a last question to ask you. If you were to offer the incoming mayor any advice, what would it be? Is that we have a serious crisis in the administration of the city. Um, and I know that there are a number of reports that uh, are going to come out uh, uh, very soon. And I hope that uh, they will act on them um, and take uh, action just for the sake of the people um, and make sure that people get uh, basic services, um, regardless of uh, uh, where they are located. Um, and uh, if they fail to do that, it will be a disaster for the city. I've always said that I am doing whatever I'm doing to make sure that this city does not become a Queenstown or Umtata. And uh, if they think that uh, it's going to be easy in the nature of individuals and the quality they have in their cabinet, uh, I wish them good luck. I'm glad to hear that. We wish them good luck as well. Thank you very much for joining us on Behind the Herald Headlines with Darren Mann this morning. That's Councillor Nkaba Banga. He's the outgoing mayor of Nelson Mandela Bay. Have a good day, sir. Thank you, sir. Right, so continuing our wrap-up of the local government elections, 48 votes apiece to the ANC and the DA in Nelson Mandela Bay. They required the assistance of smaller parties and their votes to reach the magical number of 60, which would put them in charge. One of those parties that have supported the ANC are the new kids on the block, AIM, the Ubuntu Integrity Movement, and we speak to their leader, Nkuseli Kusta-Jack, right now. Mr. Jack, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Can you tell us the reason behind throwing your support behind the ANC candidate rather than the DA candidate, who also had 48 votes? Yeah, no, it was a simple uh, issue. Uh, the issue was that... Uh, after uh, the deliberations we have been having with these two big organizations over a period of time, collectively as individuals, we noticed that uh, they were uh, uh, they were having a, an upper hand against us, and they were not prepared to budge on certain things, which will lead to a fair uh, uh, distribution of powers between us and them once we start going into the whatever arrangement or collision we were going to get in. And as a consequence of that, we decided to form a block, which we thought in our wisdom that a block would protect us from victimization by both either the ANC or the DA. okay? There was no ideological reason why we did not move with the DA or the ANC, and there was no political reason not to go with the DA or the or the, um, or, the, or the ANC. The only question was who offers us the best mechanism of keeping our pretty and our power in the, and existence in the metro without being uh, pushed this way and that way. As a result, the ANC succumbed to most of being in, considered most of the critical things which we felt that were the pillars of uh, the, the, this uh, 
collision. For example, that uh, we distribute powers, especially the power of the speaker and that one of the uh, of the mayor, that they are separated, okay? Because the DA was, uh, first of all, told us that the federal, their federal council decided that they will never budge on the issue of the speaker and the, and, and the mayor. Those are going to belong to them. Otherwise, without that, there's no deal with anyone, okay? And then uh, there was a, a deadlock on the, on the night before the uh, on the or before that Wednesday, and then that morning, I, for purposes of getting making progress and assuring that making sure that we will get to this uh, uh, get this government and form this government on a, 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 a sustainable basis, I decided to say to call Naba and say Naba, this is. I'm going to persuade the people and move towards uh, uh, what is it now the, the the that position of speaker, and then the position that I was going to be given must be given to somebody else. And then Naba agreed with me, and he took it to his uh, people. His federal uh, whatever decided that okay, it is fine. Okay, now you can you imagine what that means to a group of people, obviously, why would they say that they wouldn't budge on that? And then when it was Kuster Jack was going to occupy the space and they agreed. So that already creates some, uh, what you call it, some uh, 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 division within the group if that is allowed. So the people said, okay, let us re-look at this relationship, whether the DA will it continue to, to force us to do what it wants when, because when when it suits them, because they could have, uh, according to to some, they could have stuck to their rejection of the idea that we get a speaker, or they just if they accept it, they must accept whoever we give them. So that was the reason basically. And on top of that, we forced the ANC to do that to split that uh, that portfolio of the mayor and that one of the of the speaker and on top of that the ANC managed to to give us sufficient MMMCs into that executive in order to uh, to balance it so to the argument that uh, this was a sellout it's crazy where have you ever heard which party in the world will give away eight seats and it takes six of those seats at the most critical ones have been taken by us, okay? Now, you personally have been appointed to the mayoral committee. In what portfolio? Economic, development, um, tourism and agriculture. And can I ask, regarding the coalition, because the last question, is there a coalition agreement that's been signed which will hold until a certain date, or is it just a gentleman's agreement at this stage and it may fall apart, as previous no, coalitions the, the, have? The details of that uh, they will be revealed in the press, uh, I think, any time today or tomorrow. And it's just that I'm at a funeral now. I could go on about it now, but I'm just uh, wanting to rush into Mr. Lamani's funeral where I'm expected to speak. I'm a family uh, friend here, okay? We will be available to answer any question relating to these matters, okay? We apologize for interrupting. Condolences to the family. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Thank you very much. The public needs to know we are ready and we will, we will, we will be available for any questions that need to be uh, answered. Okay. We appreciate your help. Have a good day. That's Kusta Mkaseli. Kusta Jack, he is the leader of the Ubuntu Integrity Movement, AIM, and he is a member of the mayoral committee, which is headed up by the city's Nelson Mandela Bay's first female mayor, Eugenie Johnson. That was today's edition of Behind the Herald Headlines with Darren Mann.